Hi, welcome back. Okay, so in some of my videos I've shown you expressing and how to use nipple shields, but I think equally important is how to stop using a nipple shield. So your baby is now loving their nipple shield, which is this as you all know, okay? But lots of mums, now that they've got over that little hump in the road of getting the baby onto the breast, another question often asked is, how do we get our babies to stop using these? Which is a very good question. So again, where I got you to use the one with the cut out, like so, we start to, I like to rotate this round to their chin, so they start to feel skin on their chin if you're not already doing that, okay? So try your feet, start off the feet with the shield because often they won't latch onto the breast, they've gotten so used to this in their mouth, okay? Let them get into their feet, then they've drawn the nipple out and it stands up bigger on its own, okay? So then try to remove the shield. And what you'll find, they might do one or two sucks and then stop. But be patient. Do some more, okay? Do it when they're not starving, because when they're starving, they want to start feeding the way they've always fed, okay? So often when they're sleepy, again, try and take the shield away, because quite often they'll do a few sucks and maybe even complete a feed without realising they're doing this. Now some of the reasons for why mums choose to get rid of the nipple shields is because they're a pain in the backside to use in public, having to find where's your nipple shield, and of course the sterilising and cleaning, and also because you're using a nipple shield, you have to continue to express to keep your supply up. So by getting rid of all of that, you eliminate the need to sterilise and to express because your milk, once you get rid of these, should naturally start to balance itself off, okay? But remember, you often can't get rid of this in one day. It is a patience thing. So be consistent with it. Start your feeds usual, and on occasion, try, once you've been nicking it for a little while, to maybe try a feed occasionally without. But if your baby cries for it, do give it back, because you don't want to annoy them at the breast and try and steal it gently over a period of time. Okay, good luck.